Commander, are you talking to me? Your signal's really strong. How'd you do that? Found a glowing crystal. And a dead body. Pick it up. The crystal, not the body. If it's glowing, it may be a power source. There should be a control panel nearby. Something about this exalt. It's moving, so it's alive, but it's not responding to my presence. Wait, not responding? Poke it with something! No, no, wait, don't. That's poor research etiquette. Well, maybe just a light poke? Ugh! Wanna be there! Power's on. What was that noise? The door just opened. There's another exalted inside. Not red like the others. Looks dormant. But maybe I can wake it. No! Did Balthazar send you a Joko? I will defend this sacred ground with my life! Wait! I'm a friend. We don't like Balthazar either. The commander's on a mission to stop him. Frost is the only clue we've got. What have you done? The pedestals are reviving the forged. The glowy red ones are forged? <sighs> Good thing he didn't poke them. You claim to owe Balthazar no allegiance. Prove yourself. Destroy his creations. Kill Prakator, and we're trying to stop him. I wish you'd come sooner. Balthazar was here recently with that wretched oh, lich, just... Joko. Apparently, I'm the chosen champion and protector of Glint's second scion, Ori. If you've been entrusted with the role of the scion's protector, then it would be my honor to assist you. I am Sadazi. Welcome to Kesho. What you see is what's left of the Forgotten's first attempt to pacify the Elder Dragons. It failed. This site was abandoned, but a few of us remained as its caretakers. Why were Balthazar and Joko here? They came seeking the Forgotten magics that imbued battle armor with living spirits. The same that created the Exalted. They quickly discovered they could use those magics to create these abominations. The horrors they call forged. The red exalted you fought were the results of their early experiments on us. Left behind as mindless sentries. 
In the chaos, I sealed myself in that chamber to avoid the fate of the others. That was smart. Now you can help us make sure Balthazar doesn't succeed. Balthazar thought he destroyed the information you seek, but the sentries he left behind were actually protecting it. What do you mean? The pedestals! Your invisible friend is correct. I can reveal the secrets contained in any pedestal you choose. Glint was the key. She, she was perfect for our purposes. A scion of an elder dragon, and a crystal dragon herself, with a mind of her own. We, we did our work well. The Glint actively rejected Krankatoric, and she brought forth more scions to join our cause. That was Jasso Escher, one of the Legacy's main architects. Sadly, he was lost in the attempt to convert Kralkatorik. Wait. Convert Kralkatorik? Yes. The Forgotten dared to try. But the hunger of Elder Dragons is too strong. It proved a tragic failure. More of your questions can be answered by consulting the other pedestals. lesson an exalted must learn is, though Elder Dragons are unimaginably powerful, they, they can be killed. E each has a distinct flaw. Mordramoth, for example, dominates thought, but, it, but its most powerful asset, its mind, is also its greatest liability. Kralka Torek's unique strength, its power to crystallize objects, is also its singular weakness. It, it, its creation share a fundamental resonance that connects them back to the Crystal Dragon and makes them vulnerable to each other. A fundamental resonance that makes them vulnerable. Whoa, so that's why Balthazar was after Vlast. He needed a scion of Glint to kill Kralkatorik. But Vlast's gone now, so that means... Wait, there's one thing I don't understand. If Glint and the Forgotten knew what killing an Elder Dragon would do to Tyria, why would they rear Vlast and Orin? The answer is locked behind that door. If you're done with the pedestals, we can proceed. supposed to be my home, but it's more of a cage, or a tomb. I prefer the open sky. I feel trapped here. This place reminds me that I cannot act, no matter how eager I am. Not until the full legacy is ready. That's Vlast. We encouraged him to record his thoughts for reference and posterity. He didn't contribute often, and was never glad to do it. I believe it. He sounds super frustrated and restless. Like a genius progeny suffering through intro to Golomancy. Stand it any longer. 
the constant talk of duty and destiny, the force prevalence. It disgusts me, enrages me. My exalted attendants are durable, but still mortal and insignificant. They quake with fear at the slightest angry hiss. I have a job to do, and the power to do it. They can't help me. Why do they return the turn? Sadly, Vlast matured in isolation. We didn't know how to socialize him properly until it was too late. By the time we realized Vlast needed to bond with mortal races as Glint had, he no longer could, nor cared to. So is he, and the others tell me I must wait. That before the real work begins, the whole legacy must ripen and mature. I, I am ready now. Krokatoric continues to grow in power, and my mother's death stands unavenged. But for I and my mother's son, I will wait. I will serve the glorious purpose she and the Forgotten set for me. Although the snakes and their golden servants speak as though it is their purpose, and Glint merely let it have me. So, so in her name, I will act. Until the full legacy is ready, I will contain Rokatoric and call its branded horde. responding. It must have been damaged during Joko and Balthazar's attack. You're in luck because the commander is good at smashing things. Please, step inside. Dragon 
cycle is one of feast and famine. Ravenous they rise, sating they sleep. Glint and the Forgotten set out to break this cycle of extremes and to restore true balance. But when two Elder Dragons were unexpectedly eliminated from the cycle at one time, we believe the created a void. A void that caused the system to break down and the collapse to begin. The hope was that Glint's legacy would stabilize the cycle. We theorize these vacancies must be filled with entities that circulate and share magic rather than hoard it. Only then will the balance of magic truly become stable. Only then will Glint's legacy achieve its ultimate purpose. of Glint are more important than we thought. Balthazar only sees them as a means to gaining power, but they could be instrumental in restoring the natural balance. If you are, in fact, the true protector of Glint's legacy, then it's up to you to stop Balthazar from taking her. But know that he will let nothing deter him from his goal of killing the Crystal Dragon. Timey, get a message to Ridlock, Kanak, and Casimir. There's a spire south of the Skimmer Camp, tall enough for Kiel's airship to moor. Tell them to meet me there. Commander, you must leave, now. I can feel the forged approaching. If you are able to find Kesho, then I failed to adequately conceal the entrance. I must close the entrance forever. This portal will allow you to return safely to the surface. But what about you? I will keep my pledge to protect this sacred place with my life. I am at peace. Farewell, Commander. So much power! One challenge down.
trust me. So much power! Adrenaline surging! Expecting someone else? What's this? Have your friends abandoned? We'll kill them! What do you say we take power. things a little more slowly this time? All set.
Somewhere else. 